Hey guys, good morning. It's James here from Wicked Lures. We're here with our guide, Ruben. Yep. And we're going to be chasing trophy coho and uh, in hopes to get a big one today. We're fishing the Queets River. It rained yesterday. It's the first rain we've had in probably three months. So we're going to be basically fishing on fresh fish, tidal fish, and hope that we can get these wicked lures in front of them and get a big one today. So hope it happens. So today we're fishing on my brand new Clackamax. Uh, we're on the lower Queets. It's record low with the drought we've had this summer. So this has been a total game changer. I, I'm a sled guide. I've been a sled guide for 20 years and it's been a few years I've been wanting to go to a drift boat and I'm, I'm glad I did. This is a great boat. We're gonna have a good time. A lot of scum on the bottom, so you got to keep your gear clean. That's the only thing about this time of year. Yeah. You got to really keep your gear clean. These fish won't hit these when they get all scummed up, so you got to have this really clean. Mm -hmm. So this pool seems to have a mix of fish. It does. We have some, you know, earlier fish because we've had no rain. So a lot of these fish have just been staging down low. Then we have the tidal fish that are coming up here, so you're getting both fish. You're getting tidal fish and fish that have been here probably for at least two to three weeks and like you say you can see them jumping up in here and they're they're just stacked in here and <laughs> that's awesome just try to find the trophy one so Ruben what are you uh, doing here you, uh, putting a little scent on there yeah so we're swinging wickets these are uh, James's inline weights or half ounce I put a bead in front of my swivel just so people don't act, accidentally reel the swivel into my rod. And then I'm using the Procure Super Gel. <clears throat> it's a bloody tuna. And I put it inside the hoochie so it doesn't affect the action of the blade. I'll just put a little, a little dab inside the hoochie. We're swinging green on green, but really they're hitting everything. We're moving up on this one. We're just kind of going from hole to hole. At some point, we're going to intercept these new fish that are coming in with the tide. There are two tide series every day, and the, the goal is to stay ahead of each run of fish moving in. So we're moving up on this this next hole, and we'll work it over. And they're either there's a lot of older fish that have been in the river since September. They're four to six pound darker fish, and then these new coho that are coming in are big bright 10 to 15 pound fish and they're we're watching waves of them go by so there's some of them are settling in these pools and a lot of them are heading heading you know up to the park so it's just we're just trying to ambush them as they're coming through so generally when we have low water conditions i generally like to use greens or blacks wickeds but uh, we had some rain yesterday and we got a little bit of color into this water right now, which is great. So I like to use pink and silver when I'm fishing the queets. It's always a kind of a no brainer. If there's fish around, you're gonna catch them. Um, so I've switched up to this. I've looked at the color of the water and it's got a little bit of nice, little bit of a greener tint to it. And uh, so we're gonna swing green and pink and silver for the next hour or so and see if we can get these fish to bite. about three weeks every day in this drift boat and the river's historically low. It's running at about 328, which for my sled I need about at least 1100. Ideally 12 to 20, or yeah, 24 to 2600 is what you want. So this is the way to go. It's, it slides down these shallow ripples it's like walking a dog, you know, it's just it looks pretty darn good too. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> it handles great. Um, it fishes three guys, like plenty of room. So what I've been doing is I'll, I'll let my guys out at the top of the ripple and have them go down and fish the hole. And then I'll kind of walk the, 
walk the boat down. So we just finished up this sweet spot. Um, Ruben took his boat through the shallow water um, behind us so he didn't spook any fish. We uh, picked up a couple out of here. A lot of them rolling sunny out so it's a little tough so we're gonna keep going down the river and try to find some fish fresh on the tide. And uh, so how are you fishing this? What's your uh, strategy? Just low and slow. I mean these fish are today with the water conditions being so so low that the bite's almost like a soft leaf. They're not really aggressive. And uh, so you, if you don't know what that feels like, you got to be ready for it and then and hit it because you know that's a fish, but it's tough. Low water conditions, these coho don't want to bite a lot of gear and you just got to grind it out and grind it out and grind it out and keep trying to find the biters. So, and there's such a mix of fish in these holes. Oh yeah, we're finding, you know, fish that are running in September that are in here, blushed up fish and, we're, and mixed in with these, you know, chrome, nice, beautiful tidal fish. And those are the ones we're after. Generally, those are the biters. So we're just gonna keep targeting those fish and trying to find more of those uh, bigger coho that uh, we came here to find. And hopefully we uh, grind it out and we get them. So Ruben, do you remember the first coho you ever caught? Oh geez, no, I don't. <laughs> I was probably 12. I fished with my grandpa and my dad. Um, the earliest, and it's more about just remembering pictures, it really, than the experiences. But growing up fishing Cook Creek and down on the lower Quinault at Chow Chow, um, like I said earlier, we never really weighed. It wasn't a thing to weigh fish because they were they were all big fish, and it wasn't about how much they weighed. Right, this it, river's it producing was a normal, yeah, it was a normal some thing huge to catch fish over the years, 20 right? 20-pound steelhead, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and big silvers too, and right? And big silvers, yeah. I've caught, you know, silvers in the 20 to 23-pound range since I've been guiding and uh, and as a, as a teenager, there used to be really big fish in here. Well, this is sure a beautiful looking spot. What's oh, happening? It's just gorgeous out here. And uh, God, we're just anticipating for that coho bite. You know they're around. And uh, right now, you just got to keep working it and grinding it. And, and uh, boy, is this a perfect spot for them to come up and lay and rest right out of the tide. And uh, that's all we're doing is just swinging wickets till we find the biters. That's what you got to do. This is kind of what we've been waiting for, these tidal fish. Right on, Nick. Yes, very excited. <laughs> Boy, that fish just grabbed it. Excellent. Yeah, beautiful fish. Pulling like crazy. Let's see if I can hang on to it. You want me to get on this side? Yeah, whatever you Sure. There we go. Now, get a leverage on it. So Ruben called it. He said, yeah, this is usually a good spot. The water's a little low. Oh, but, yeah, but they're laying over there. Yeah, yeah. Wow, this fish is really pulling. Okay. Oh man, that's a great fish. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Oh no! Oh, and that's the way it goes. That is the way it goes. Oh, I don't think I was pulling too hard. It just gosh, pulled loose, darn it. but that was exciting. Oh. <laughs> Ken just had one on, it jumped and came off. So uh, anyway, we found the front end of a tidal push here. So let's see what happens. Well. Yeah, so what's going on? What just well, happened? we finally found some tidal fish. We're uh, finding these nice, beautiful fish. And this one just hit right next to the boat. Gosh, this came up and just. Starting to find the biters. Nice guy. All right. All right. Good we're, job. Yeah, we're getting nice. there. We're getting there. <laughs> Don't get much fresher than this, you guys. <laughs> Tidal fish coho. My gosh. 
Okay, Ken, what happened? Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> I just uh, hooked one right at the boat. <laughs> Sitting down. <laughs> that's oh my goodness. That's what oh my goodness. <laughs> So it grabbed it right at the boat, right like you were right almost, almost done reeling in. The other one kind of did that too, yeah. so we just got into a bunch of fish here. Whoa, careful! <laughs> okay, anchors out, watch anchors. Yeah. This, this is what we come here yeah, for. Right. This is what we're talking oh, about. Look at that. Oh my god. Very gosh. nice. Very nice. Big She's tearing it up. Gosh. That's a hot fish, man. Oh, 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 oh god, oh god. Oh, back under the boat. <laughs> He's 100% under it. I'm gonna pull the anchor. Did you get it? You got it, Ken? No, I'm just pulling the fucking anchor. Oh. There. <laughs> get it. Uh. Wow! <laughs> God damn. That's a big fish. That's him. Fuck yeah, it's a That's a toad. Wow! Gotcha. Oh my gotcha. God! Right on. Holy smokes, Ruben! That's a big fish. That's buddy. a trophy coho. Nice that's trophy job. coho right there. That's what you come here yeah, for. Nice Holy job. smokes! He's green. <laughs> Good job, Ruben. You're welcome. Thank you. How far are we from the ocean? Uh, less, oh, less look at mile. that fish! Look at that fish! Beautiful. There you go. That's what it's nice all about job. right there. That's a big trophy coho. <laughs> That's what you got. That's why we're on the Queens. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ocean fresh. Right on. Look at the sea lice on it. <laughs> Man, that was a hot fish. Dude. Dude. Yeah, he went all the way around. <laughs> Did a cartwheel, 360s. down to the ocean. Yeah, it we're appears, at the beach right now. We're at the beach. It appears there are a bunch of salmon coming up, so this is going to be very interesting to see what happens. And Ruben just rode his uh, new drift boat all the way down here, so it's going to be interesting to see how far back we, were, do we have to go. We came down on the ebb, but we are right under the northwest wind, and so that was a workout, but let's go kill some fish. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> well, this is so cool. Um, I certainly hope we hook a fish here because this is going to be fun. The fish. Uh, coming out of the ocean right here and then coming through this channel and then headed up here to what looks like a little soft spot so we'll have to see what happens you made it happen nice job this is amazing One. I can't believe this. Right, uh, right next to the ocean. Let's 
doesn't know what to do. Yeah. He's trying to go back to the ocean. All right, just popped into another one. It's like halfway to the ocean. I pulled the camera out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We just walked back up. James is on. I think I'm going to be able to walk back up. I like to go out to the big ocean. <laughs> oh, oh, oh boy, what do we got going here? Another hot one. Yeah. This is true tidal fish. World class coho fishing. I don't know how else to describe yeah, it. It's so beautiful out here too. The sun's, uh, the sun's coming down. And James has another one. I think this might be um, our limit. If he gets it in. Yeah, this is so fun. This is so <laughs> fun, man. <laughs> Every, everybody in the lifetime has got to come down and do this. Looks like we're all set, guys. Yeah, right? the limit. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome, awesome dude. Nice work. Well, I want to say we grinded it out and it paid off at the end. Thanks to Ruben. We came down here, we found our tidal fish, and we just stuck it out and stuck it out and grinded it all day. And we ended this thing on a high note. We just crushed them in the last hour down here. Amazing. So thanks again, Ruben, for the yeah, amazing it's trip all about the on the Queets. On the so if you, that was the plan, you know. The, at some point, these fish are going to move up into those, up into the holes on the upper stretches, and so the plan was we'll we'll come down river, take our time. We had a a big wait for the for the tide, and it paid off. We hit it right at the right time, and there's your the limit, there's the proof right there. Fishes. Look at those beauties. Unbelievable. World class coho. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. That was Amazing day. day. All right, thanks. Definitely. Guys. <laughs> that was awesome. If you ever get a chance, look Ruben up. 